Oh, this is Divine Needle. Uh, there's gonna be a reading for Aries. Oh yeah, I'm Nell, and he is sitting next to me. Hello. And uh, yeah, we're gonna do a 10 cards reading for Aries. Cut the cross uh, for the second week of February. Okay. We'll see what comes out for Aries. Okay. First position, current situation. Yeah, and this is the 10th through the 16th. Yeah. What's the current situation for Aries? What is the current situation for Aries? Oh. They want to flip out. All of them. <laughs> not going to do that. The dancing cards. Got to take this one. Current situation. Yeah. Temperance. Nice. What is the challenge with that? What is the challenge with that card? Oh. Oh. <laughs> Give me some justice. Justice card. Okay, what has been going on in the recent past for Aries? What's been going on in the recent past? Okay, you gotta take that. Knight of Wands. <laughs> Will be going on in the near future for Aries. It will be in the near future for Aries. Take that one. Three of Swords. Okay. What's going on in the conscious mind for Aries? What's going on in the conscious mind for Aries? <clears throat> On a conscious mind for Aries. Okay. Now the cops. Cool. What's going on in the unconscious mind for Aries? What's going on in the unconscious mind? Strength card. How does Aries see themselves? How do Aries see themselves? How do Aries see themselves? Oh. Two of coins. Two of pentacles. How do others see Aries? How do other... Okay, I gotta take that. Nine swords. Hopes or fears for Aries. What's gonna be the hopes or fears for Aries? Oh. Okay. Nine of Wands. Last card is gonna be the final outcome. This reading, the final outcome for Aries. Sticking out. Okay. That is the uh, four coins. Cool. So on the bottom of the deck, underlying energy. Judgments. Okay. Cool. Place that right there. Uh, we gotta be meditating on this, and we will be right back. Hello, yeah, we're back. We've been meditating on your cards, and uh, this is what we came up with. Aries. First card out is Temperance. If I can pick it up. It's crossing that is Justice. We feel this is uh, patience, mainly having patience with yourself. Uh, what's crossing is Justice, so we feel that it's having patience on justice in some situation that you've been going through, okay? Do you have anything to say? No, I don't think no. I Spot on. Spot on? Okay. 
Recent past, Aries. Uh, this tells us you took some steps forward. Major steps. Just talking about fast moving energy. Actually going out and do it. Okay. Um, yeah, that's been going on in recent past. Uh, near future. This tells me. Three of Swords tells me that it did not work out. Okay. This could be in love. I kind of see it as that. Like somebody took or communicated their love. That's what I see. And it did. they did not reciprocate. Is that the right word? Yeah. <coughs> That's what I see in this. So. Now the reason why I see that is on a conscious mind is Knight of Cups. So I see that it's love in your mind. Wanting to move forward in love, okay? Wanting to actually do, take steps, especially when there's two knights in the same reading, okay? So, but I feel it didn't work out or it's not gonna work out okay, with that particular person if this is uh, the situation if that resonates unconscious mind is telling you to have strength okay this card talks about um, to me having a lot of courage especially courage and overcoming fear with love so that's what your unconscious trying to tell you okay having strength within yourself for that situation okay everybody goes through some kind of let down every once in a while so everybody goes through that it doesn't even have to be love but um yeah that tells me Things didn't work out the way you wanted to. Okay. How you see yourself? This tells me balance. Okay. Two of Pentacles. You see yourself balanced. That is simply that. This has a lot of other meanings, but what popped in my mind was you see yourself as a balanced person. Although. I don't think other people see it that way though, because this card talks about nightmares and stuff, anxiety. I feel other people see you as a flustered person all over the place, way up in your head, okay? So, hmm. Hopes and or fears. We do feel that this is a hope. Yeah. Uh, we feel you hope. You're gonna have strength and stamina to be able to get through that. Okay. To get over that, I mean. Final outcome. Four of coins. That talks about holding on to your riches. Uh, your money, your materials. Um, it could also be not wanting to change. Okay. Yeah. How you see that in this reading, this card, final outcome? Holding on tight. Hold on tight. <clears throat> yep. Okay. Bottom of the deck. Judgment. That is underlying energy. Uh, that talks about spiritual rebirth. Okay. To this reading, that could be a lesson you had to learn in your life. Okay. That just popped in my head. Okay. So, there you go. You had some other cards, baby? Yep. Uh, totally relates. 
You know, the interesting thing is you got the balance, the alchemy of the fire and water in the temperance card. And then again, the balance going on here with the two pentacles. And then you've also got um, the strength card um, and the wounded warrior card, which Nell sees kind of as a strength card too, because it's the person that's fought many battles and is it resting up after a long, hard-fought battle? <clears throat> Making us strong. Yeah. And then the interesting is Gabriel's card. Courage, Archangel Ariel. Be courageous and stand up for your beliefs. Yeah. There you go. That totally resonates. So in other words, seven of ones, that shit. <laughs> <laughs> stand up. Stand the moral high ground. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And hold on, hold on tight. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Keep that in mind, okay? Strength. Be strong. Courage. I got it. Wounded warrior. Yeah. You can do it. <laughs> yep, definitely. For so sure. There you go. That was your reading, Aries, for the second week of February. And comment, like, subscribe, and we will see you next week. Okay. Later, ta-ta!